1994, uh, there was when the sort of the first nuclear crisis happened, when they left the nuclear non-proliferation treaty and said they were going to go ahead and start building the nuclear mm -hmm. capability. Uh, and the United States under President Clinton mm -hmm. uh, was considering a, a military strike on their one nuclear facility at Yongbyon, that's mm -hmm. where, what it's called. And Jimmy Carter, the former president, uh, flew there, met with Kim Il-sung, who was the grandfather of the current leader, and they worked out a deal, and then it, it eventually became known as the uh, 1994 uh, uh, Agreed Framework. Mm -hmm. And North Korea actually stopped its nuclear program for a, de a decade, basically. Wow. Actually, 12 years, they, they did not produce any plutonium. And that agreement actually held for a few years until it kind of blew up during the Bush administration. Why, why, why did it happen during the Bush administration? Was it because of Well, Iraq? what happened was, uh, I mean, there's, there were sort of two steps in it. And this is very important to understand, you know, the, the current history. Mm -hmm. Because... President Trump and a lot of his people, and, and in fact, you know, a lot of commentators will say, you'll see, a, you'll turn on CNN and they'll say, yeah, the U.S. signed an agreement with them in 1994 and the North Koreans broke it the next day, which is not true. Hmm. They actually held it. Uh, there was, long, you know, the U.S. supplied them with uh, fuel oil mm -hmm. to, because they shut down one nuclear facility. And, and then the U.S. said they would supply them with 500,000 th tons a year of fuel oil mm -hmm. for their power plants, as well as build, help build and finance uh, two light water nuclear reactors for their power grid. Mm -hmm. That was part of the deal. Light water reactors are considered less, you know, they're more able to, you know, create bombs out of the, mm -hmm. out of the uh, fuel that comes out of nuclear power plants. So they were building light water plants. Uh, and North Korea, like I said, stopped producing plutonium. Mm -hmm. And then uh, out of this agreement, uh, they were, missiles were not part of that agreement. And North Korea was still developing its own missiles. Uh, in around 1998, uh, President Clinton asked his defense secretary at the time to open negotiations with them on missiles. And by the end of the Clinton administration, uh, Bill Perry was the defense secretary. They were like this far away from an agreement on missiles where North Korea was going to mm -hmm. stop producing and end its missile program. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Bush came in and, you know, Bush came in with a lot of these neoconservatives who, who had these very, you know, aggressive plans for, you know, the United States and foreign policy. And uh, they were against this agreed framework from the beginning. People like John Bolton, who mm -hmm. was the UN ambassador at the time. I mean, they just thought the agreement was, you know, a sellout and, and, and uh, you know, it should be trashed. And they took the very first opportunity they could to trash this agreement, which happened in 2002. The Bush administration sent a uh, State Department negotiator, actually it wasn't a negotiator, official there, and they had picked up intelligence that the U.S. had known about actually for some time that the North Koreans might be building a uranium program to the bomb. They stopped their plutonium program, but then the and U.S. intelligence picked up signs that they were buying equipment, you know, uh, for, uh, for to enrich uranium to, to to go that route for a bomb. Uh, at the time, and this was October 2002, uh, Jim Kelly, the, the the State Department official who went there. His talking, his orders from Bush and, and Cheney were just to deliver a message that we know you've been doing this and the, the, the agreement is over. You know, we're, we're, we're going to cancel the agreement because of that. And he was given no authority to negotiate whatsoever. Now, at that time, North Korea said they did not have a uranium program, but they said they had a right to have one and they would be willing to negotiate. But... The, the U.S., you know, the, his, the orders were not to negotiate. And, and as a result of that, uh, the U.S., you know, and a couple months later, Bush put North Korea on the list of the axis of Excellent. evil and everything, you know, sort of, you know, it, it became very, very tense. North Korea, you know, ended the agreement as well. And by 2006, they had exploded their first bomb.